Collapse of Weimar, Rise of Hitler Nazis The Nazis had multiple ideas and tactics to try and get into power and to try and capitalise on the Weimar's economic and political problems. Nazi Propaganda The head of Nazi propaganda was Joseph Goebbels. He mainly used propaganda to blame the Jews and the November criminals for Weimar's problems. Propaganda allowed the Nazis to spread their ideas all over Germany with simple slogans such as Work and Bread. They used their own newspaper, the People's Paper, in German, the Volkischer Beobacher, and posters, films, radios and mass rallies which could have been held by Hitler himself. Hitler used a plane to fly to multiple different states across Germany. This is so he could tend up to three mass rallies a day in different parts of Germany. This was nicknamed Hitler over Germany. Nazi violence. Hitler continued to use the SA and the SS to attack communists and intimidate other political opponents. The SA would march outside the Reichstag during elections. This would also stand at every entrance and exit of the Reichstag. Nazi policies. Hitler designed his policies in such a manner that they would attract people from all sections of society, giving him a broad base of support. But he mainly focused on the people that were hit hard by the economic crisis at the time. These were the middle classes, farmers, family business owners and young people trying to work for a living. Hitler and the Nazis promised the people that they would restore a strong and prosperous Germany for all German people. This led to industrialists to support Hitler as he also promised to crush communism. But also Hitler promised that if he gained their support he would smash all trade unions across Germany when he got into power. Nazi supporters. Due to Hitler's policies he is able to gain support from people from all sections of society and from all different religions. This made the Nazi party the first official People's Party in Germany. Mainly Protestant areas of Germany showed wide support. It was harder to gain support in Catholic areas and to get support in socialist areas in industrial cities. The urban working class was less attracted to Nazism. The Nazis got great support from the self-employed craftsmen, companies and the non-unionized employees of small firms and from the farming communities. This was because these people were greatly affected by the cash shortages caused by the Great Depression. Other people who were affected by the Depression were this of the middle class in the residential suburban areas. They blamed Weimar for their problems and felt let down. This is why they turned for the Nazis for help. The Nazis had a lot of support from young people. 41% of the party were born in between the years of 1903 and 1923. The youth made up 25% of the German population. Nazi propaganda appealed to all sections of Germany with two main ideas. 1. Hitler was the messiah who came to save Germany from all its problems. 2. Hitler would bring unity to all German creating a national community.